So, now I've got all the major parts made. I now need to put everything together. Welcome to Warp Legacy. So, there's a couple things in this area we need to work on. I cut these pieces when it was dry. Uh, now that I've mortared it, the space between the bricks made this taller. So, I just need to take some pieces here, kind of like this one, make some shims in here, and cut this one a little thinner. But, you need to get those in there so they fill this space. It's really nice and easy to cut this stuff, but it's really not good on your knives. There we go. Now one thing I didn't show you about this stuff that I think is really cool is just how well this stuff insulates. Really cool. That is why I'm using this stuff. This is what I'm using as what they call a manifold. By definition, this is absolutely not a manifold, but it's the terminology everyone in the rocket stove world uses. So even though it is factually incorrect, I'm still going to keep calling this a manifold. So I am just going to use silicone to kind of glue this into place there. I might go get some duct tape and stick that there just to hold it in place while it dries. So this stuff is a high temperature silicone. So I shouldn't have any problems with it holding up to the heat. So I'm just going to put some of this around this edge up here. Didn't find duct tape but I found this. It's what I'll use if I need to. I'm guessing I will. Middle here. Right there. Now I'm going to take this brick, put it in as far as I can. Try not to get goop on the brick, but. This piece goes in here. You would think that I want this perfectly centered, but I actually don't. I put it off this way a little bit. That's forced because this is here. So it's that way as far as it can go. But I also put it that way a little bit. What that will do, first off, it will offset the square on the bottom with this. So it'll force a tornado type thing in there just a little bit. It will also make the gap between this edge a little bit smaller and the gap between the edge on this side a little bit smaller and that will make this side and this side of the outside cooler and these sides will be a little warmer it'll also give me more space over here for the air to come up out of here down through the inside of the bell and then out through the manifold so that's how that's going to be that's just going to sit in there there's nothing else going to be support that up because this is all going to be surrounded by the bell now I just realized I'm going to have to wait for this to dry, so I can't really do any more until later today, maybe tomorrow. On second thought, if I get a smaller brick that I can reach in here and take out this way, I don't need to wait. So I'm going to get a smaller brick. And how do I get a smaller brick? Take this thing and... Make a smaller brick. And uh, don't worry, Randy. I am going to send this out to you. Uh, I have had all of my issues. Depression and anxiety. And I haven't been doing a whole lot of stuff. But I promise that is going to you. You will get it. It does belong to you. In fact, there we go. And I made you wait a long time, so have a fork too. And since I have uh, completely neglected you for far too long, 
you get some Red Castle Supply Soap. This is a grapefruit. It is made with charcoal and coconut oil and grapefruit and that is it. Enjoy that Red Castle Supply, Red Castle Supply Company soap. Enjoy your Warhammer. Enjoy your fork. That fork is one of the first things I ever made. That fork has been in this box for probably over a year now. I cut open the box so I could send you the hammer. Fork went back in the box. Soap is in the box. Hope you enjoy. Sorry it took so long. Okay, I'm going to take this down right now just so I don't have to deal with this. This is a picture from our wedding. We had people sign it. These are lots of people that came to our wedding. I had fun. Apparently we haven't dusted in forever. This thing is just covered in dust. <sighs> now, I ordered these thinking it would be really nice to have a cap that would sit flush in here. And I got a wrench on these and did everything I could, but that's as far as they go in. They might just stay like that forever. Again, I'm going to have to put some goop in here though. Now for the most part the weight of this thing is just going to hold it in place. But I'm going to take this stuff and go around and seal around all of these edges. Because the riser inside of this is actually where the power comes from. So inside of this and coming out of here is actually going to be an under pressure because from the heat riser. So anything here will just leak. Now I should probably mention that this silicone can irritate your skin, so you probably shouldn't touch it with your bare hands. At least that's what it says on the bottle. Now I'm going to go put the exhaust in, but I'm not going to film it because I don't want to. Alright, I have everything put in place. Got an exhaust, everything will go outside. The only thing left to do is line this entry with fire brick. But, since everything else is hooked up, I'm going to light a piece of paper and throw it in there and make sure my draft is working right. Now, a lot of that did come back up this way, but everything that it's making now, it's sucking down through. Um, this First off, this hole is way bigger than it's going to be, so it's going to have a smaller hole, which means it's going to suck faster, and it shouldn't have that flare up like this. The way that kind of stayed billowing down here gives me a lot of hope, because it almost pulled everything from this big 8 inch. It was 8 by 5 or something like that. That looked good. So, like I said, all that's left is to line this with fire bricks. But, I designed it too big. So, I need to cut some fire bricks. If you've been around here long enough, you'll remember this. Now this disc is actually for a uh, concrete brick block. That is of no use to me. I finally get to use this disc on what it was made for! That was really good! So, this is the finished rocket stove, or rocket heater, or whatever you want to call it. There's no mass, so it's not a rocket mass heater yet. It is spring after I made this, so this thing has gone through one winter with us. Uh, I never got the 
shielding up here because the pieces that I was going to use to do it have been frozen to the ground and covered in snow for a few months. We have been running it most of the winter on cut up pallets and we were going through about a pallet a day which I don't think that's bad at all to heat this place. And that's without the mass. Once we get the mass in here it'll be even better. We'll go through less because we'll put be putting less heat out the chimney. I do need to clarify that, that was only while we were in the house and awake. So if we were gone we had the electric heaters going still and while we were sleeping we had to have the electric heaters going still because this thing didn't have the mass to continue radiating heat when there wasn't a fire and we couldn't keep the fire going while we were gone or while we were asleep not to mention that it would be dangerous to have the fire going while we were gone we couldn't stoke the fire so overall we might actually not use less fuel than we did but we will be using less electricity now we have run into a few issues it did start to crack here. There's a little crack here. This side cracked all the way up through here. There's some cracking here. It was running continuously when we were in the house. And this is just plain old concrete mortar and concrete brick. So the fact that it stood up as well as it did is amazing. When I first put it together, I planned on cutting this out in the spring and tearing it apart and doing an internal inspection. I don't think I'm going to do that at this point just because of how well it's running. I can clean it out through this. There's no real reason to tear it apart other than curiosity right now. I'm not curious enough to tear it apart. Top of this thing at the hottest it ever got was over 750 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know how hot it actually got because my infrared thermometer doesn't read past 750. But I don't think it got much past 750, and it was usually in the 500 range. Let's look down into the chamber. The uh, fire bricks here started to crack here. This one's cracked in the middle. Uh, looks like that one in the bottom cracked. It's the first time I've noticed that. Get you a view down there that I can't see. First, we'll put the flashlight down here. Then we'll drop this down here. Oh, I can't wait to see that footage. All right, I just figured I'd give you guys a uh, little look at this thing while it was going because I realized I hadn't done that yet. Uh, most of the time when we have it running, we've got this thing covered up here like this to slow the air supply, keep a little warmer in there. And right now, we don't have it packed very full. This thing likes it when it's packed full, but we don't need a ton of heat right now. We just kind of need to keep the temperature. And I would take you outside and show you the uh, exhaust outside, but it's dark and you couldn't see it anyway. There's nothing coming out of it, though. There's nothing to see, nothing to show you. So that video only took me three months to put together. It has been great having this thing over the winter because we didn't have to buy any kerosene this winter. It was nice. Even though our electric bill didn't change because we just used the rocket heater instead of the kerosene heater, we weren't buying kerosene, so that saved us a ton of money. And you guys rock, and there is more of you out there than last time I talked to you. Uh, this thing says 700 subscribers. Last time I looked, there was 909 subscribers to the channel. Thank you so much. Welcome to all the new people. I think I've said this in my past couple of videos, but I do plan on making more videos very soon. But like I said, I think I've said that in my last few videos. You know how plans go. So the rocket heater is doing great. Hopefully I will be able to actually build a mass soon. I won't use it until next winter, but it'll be easier to build during the summer. <laughs> well, that's all I got for this one. Thank you for visiting Warp Legacy. Until next time, I'm Tuan. Go to find your legacy. Do it. Go. Define it. No. Actually, it's okay. I don't want to threaten you.